Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I am filming my intro on my cell phone because halfway through my video, my dogs broke my camera. I had to go out and buy a new camera. So let's just hope these videos start picking up a little and ad revenue comes in to help me pay it off. But I love my animals and it's fine. They didn't mean it and it's gonna be fine. But let's get on with the video. <laughs> Today I'm going to introduce you to all of my critters. Basil, Forrest, Lloyd, Cass, Faye, and Denver, my husband. So let's go ahead and just jump into the video and we're going to start with the lizard. This is Basil Atticus Cornelius. That is his full birth name. I adopted him when he was three years old last summer, so he's three and a half now. He tolerates me because I am the bringer of worm, and that is the only reason. Hi, Basil. He's a very sensitive little boy. One of my patrons was asking if he likes rocks. That is his answer. <laughs> he was a little shaken up by the camera. I decided to put him away and try to offer him worm. As you can see, he was clearly in a mood. The rock set him over the edge, so can just see his eyes spinning around for basically the rest of this video but yeah I was having recurring dreams about chameleons and finding them in my house plants decided to see if anyone happened to be rehoming one on Facebook and I found this little man's and I'm uh, obsessed with him rightfully so he is my overlord everyone keeps asking me if I'm gonna get basil a friend or a girlfriend or anything like that no, chameleons are very solitary creatures. They do not want to be around other chameleons. They do not want to be around other animals or living creatures, except for bugs. They love bugs. Basil's not going to get a, uh, an enclosure companion. That would just stress him out immensely. Next, we have the boys, the dynamic duo, Forrest and Lloyd Sebastian. I used to have two girls as well, Ophie and Junie. Ophie doesn't live with me anymore after her sister passed away, but the boys are obsessed with each other. I get tons of pictures of Ophie. She lives with my friend Sam, who sang on my album with me, and I am able to visit her often. Um, Lloyd is a firecracker. He does like to play, but he also can get a little aggressive. We will get into him. He's my most expensive of all of the animals. He has had surgery to repair his arm after he broke it in two places. He bit me in the face once. It was a whole experience. Forrest, on the other hand, is a lover. He is just a potato. He just wants to be held and snuggle. I got him during the pandemic because he needed a home. I fell into the trap of seeing him at PetSmart. And he drools when he's happy. And he chirps and meows and just wants snuggles 24-7. I love this man. Forrest McLaren. Lloyd Sebastian does love me and people. I promise. Lloyd. Lloyd. I promise. I promise he does. He just <laughs> was feral when we got him. He was really sick as well. He had to be in quarantine for six weeks from the other cats because he had everything wrong with him possible. He was hospitalized for four days. It was a whole experience, but he is my little man's. He bit my face once, sent me to the ER, but it's fine. Everything's fine. I love my cats. I love my boys and they love the camera apparently. Well, loved because now the camera is broken. We will get into that shortly, but yes, he is a, he's an experience. He ran away once, was missing for eight days. I walked all over the neighborhood every night for eight days only to find him next to the garage. So one of my patrons was wondering if the cats and the dogs like to play. And no, they do not get along at all. They're, all of my animals are very strong personality. Um, so the cats and the dogs actually live separately. They have separate in the house time. They have separate in their space time. We basically have the house bisected so that the cats have half and the dogs have half. It has ended up working out pretty well for the past year and a half that we've had this arrangement. 
play with each other. They love each other. They just don't love the, the cross species uh, co-mingling. Cass and Faye, they have tunes on the album. They are my little babies. I raised them from potatoes into bigger potatoes. They're absolutely nuts. I <laughs> love them to death. We've actually just started slowly trying to run together. They are just, I mean, let them speak for themselves. They're just crazy. Trying to get them to focus on the camera. Nothing beats toy. I love them more than anything. I'm really glad to be working from home now so that I can actually like spend time with them and see them a lot because they are the lights of my life. Oh. They did not mean to break the camera, so I did not yell at them. I did just give them treats instead. But yes, I love my little babies, and you see a lot of them in my videos because they do like to uh, be on camera. They love to be around and involved. I got Cass and Faye as puppies. They are from the same litter. They are Catahoula Staffy mixes. They're coming. Hello. They heard me talking about them. Hello. Hi, is it raining? You're wet. So Cass and Faye, their parents uh, wandered into a family friend's backyard and the female, their mom Onyx, was super pregnant. And two weeks later, there were eight puppies in my family friend Michelle's bathroom. And so Denver and I drove down to Florida in a rental car and we brought six of the puppies back home to upstate New York. It was one of the best trips of my entire life. Um, and then all chaos ensued and we had two puppies and then a couple months later a whole global pandemic um, And so they're crazy and they have anxiety and um, they're a perfect product of uh, Me Denver and our home, but yes, they are divine creatures <laughs> Someone was asking if they have music that they like um, They actually love the sound of the pipes. They will sit in my room, which is over there when I'm recording in here or playing in here and they'll just nap on the bed. They quite like the sound of the pipes. If you're one of the OGs, you'll remember that I used to do Facebook live streams in Denver and I would play trad tunes and stuff like that. You'd always be able to see the dogs in the background. <laughs> And Faye specifically has a favorite song. It's a vocal piece by Ronaldo Hahn called La Exquisa. And I'll put a little clip of her singing with me in here when she was nine weeks old. <laughs> but we still have choir practice and they sing with me regularly. It's uh, chaotic. Yeah, they don't do it with anything else. They don't do it any other time, even with other arias, like... laugh at your gross comments together yeah yeah we do don't we yeah. that's his guitar people ask about the guitars I can't play them as you may know if you watched the last videos um, too crunchy he's on my album I feel very safe I'm not in danger
so yeah, that's my family. Thank you for coming to this video. Um, I hope you all have a fantastic day. And if you have animals at home, please, please give them treats and pets from our family. Bye.